spent the last hour trying to find a parking spot to try to get this trail. The National Park Service apparently isn't very accommodating with some of their trail systems. But we're here at Potomac, Potomac uh, Wayside by Harvest Ferry. And we have to walk probably, I think it's east from here, about like four miles or three miles, I don't know. But it's a little waterfall anyway so far. And we're going to walk down that way and try to find the old uh, ruins for an old meal that was doing 1826. Uh, so stay tuned for this little adventure. This is my first time walking to the Potomac River. There's a bridge there that goes to Harper's Ferry. <laughs> Here's Harper's Ferry up that way. I'm a nice person. <laughs> pretty nice out here, pretty calm and peaceful. No one else out here. We're just walking along here. Hopefully, if we get out here alive, we have to find the trail somehow, but back in the uh, 1832, I think the uh, River Road was built down here. They connected Lovettsville to Harpers Ferry, and we're trying to find that right now. And although the National Park Service owns the land where we're going, um, we don't have any like clearly like marked area for like visitors to go hike on this. So we're just following the river down, trying to find out where to go here. The railroad tie. Look at the Potomac. There's so much uh, flood, debris, stuff laying around. We're making it though. Here's some uh, more uh, flood debris here, gosh. The, the nice thing about the fall, you don't have to worry about snakes being everywhere. This is all debris from the different floods from the Potomac. There's a bridge right there. I imagine right when we get underneath the bridge on the other side, we'll be able to see the old uh, road remnants, so. Once we go in that, we'll know where we're at. Kind of hard to navigate all this with dead weight like this. <laughs> Talking about yourself. <laughs> Tim's trying to find a dead body somewhere, I think. <laughs> It's pretty neat out here. That's Maryland Heights over there. We're on the uh, Virginia side, Loudoun County. We are not, now under the bridge to Harper's Ferry. Pretty tall bridge. Somewhere along here, we're going to intersect with River Road pretty quick, I think. And uh, we'll find out. There's some graffiti back here so people get back here. There's a great old Potomac. Haven't found anything interesting yet, but we'll keep you informed. Here's the most clear bit, uh, bit of the bridge here. I do believe that we found the old River Road. It was built 1832. It was uh, open until 1936. And then the historic flood happened in Harpers Ferry, and uh, it destroyed a lot of buildings in Harpers Ferry at that time. And uh, since then, I think probably the latest floods have like been eight, 1972, Agnes, and there probably been a few other floods, but the 1936 flood had the downtown under like 30 feet of water. And that flood closed this road pretty much. It eroded the whole thing out, as you can tell. It's a very rough surface. 
So we're gonna keep walking here. I think we have a mile or so to walk. So pretty neat here though. You can see how they cut the side of the hill. And in some areas down here, I'll, I'll try to find it later, put it on film, but you can tell where they dynamited the side of the hill out for the road. And it's kind of weird because the road's so low to the river here, but it'd be susceptible to flooding just with that, the elevation here, it's like eight foot to the river. But we'll keep going here. I yeah, it's all right. I think we just walked past Devil's Elbow here. It's a big rock that sticks out towards the river. And back when they built the road back in 19, or 1832, they built retaining walls to hold the road. And as you can see, this is a clear construction point. Walk around here and I'll show you how close it is. I'm pretty sure this is Devil's uh, Elbow. If it's not, there might be another formation like this down the trail here a little bit. But, it doesn't seem like we're making very much progress, but it's very rough terrain. It's all rock. I can't imagine how the road condition was back in 1832, but probably a lot of broken uh, wagon wheels, but pity the horses. So we'll keep going here. We're by the Adventure Center, Harper's Ferry. And apparently they have an access point down here. We just walked through a half mile worth of uh, brush and debris to get to this point, but nothing down here is publicized at all. So probably a good thing though. If people know less about it, then they're out there pillaging it and everything else. We're just going to look at it. So, the whole campground down here. Looks like it's closed for the season. The road up to the main place there is pretty covered with all debris too. I've only been in Virginia for about six months or seven months, so I don't know how bad the river gets down here. I, I know it floods pretty good, so this area probably goes through a lot of damage. There's a lot of picky tables down here. I think next summer I'm going to try to come down here and camp. And they have uh, they get they uh, have river rafts and tubes and stuff you can float down the Potomac on. I'm not really sure how that'd be. There's a lot of rocks in the river, but. Uh, I'm sure everyone else does it, so it's quite safe. Yeah, there's a neat little area here. We're gonna continue here, we're on the old road now. You can see more of the roadbed now. We finally made it to the uh, National Park Service grounds. This little piece of land they have, they don't really advertise well, but we're here. So we're gonna keep walking. Back there, you can see the old road bed and it came right through here and you can see I'm going to try to find some uh, evidence that they uh, blasted rock off the side of the hillside but uh, we're still walking here we'll see so we found our first rune here this was the site of the old distillery I forget the name of it I'll add it to the uh, video here when I edit it but there's a foundation here they made the walls so thick here. They're literally, uh, I think they're about three feet thick. They did that so they could, uh, or the walls would uh, withhold uh, flooding from the Potomac. What's that? There's an old down in there. Yeah, someone threw an old fridge inside the foundation. You can see little bits of mortar coming out there. You can see it's very nicely uh, made here. Falling down the hill. Would have been neat to see that standing still. There's the other foundation wall over there. There's that piece there, that whole end there is ready to fall off it. Pretty neat find. We're not there yet though. This is uh, called Dixie Bottom. And it was known for making moonshine back in the 1800s. And this was the uh, steel site. They made legal uh, whiskey here. And they continued through the prohibition, even against uh, law. And then they eventually closed in 1941, I think. Yeah, there's still a little bit of evidence here. And there's a little 
sight there. It almost looked like a spring that ran through here at one time. But we'll keep going here and find some more stuff. This is above the uh, distillery site. There's some piers here where a house used to stand. Another foundation up there. We'll keep exploring around here. There's like, some trash and stuff. This place operates in 1941 or 46, somewhere in there. So there's some newer stuff mixed in here. Back here, there's like a deep cavern area. Maybe it might have been the basement of the house. I don't know. We were walking up here and I found a bottle down here somewhere. I'll see if I can find it again. There it is. Refresh with a smile. There's some copper wire from a fence or something like that. They probably had some goats or something up here, I don't know. But you can see a little remnants of the road here. Down here you can see it really good. Old wagon trail. It goes up the hill here, up behind this house. So who knows what all that was for. Pretty neat place. There's a foundation for the distillery down there. We're walking along the old road bed here, you can see it. The river's right there. We're getting closer to our destination, but we haven't got there yet. Been walking for about an hour and a half now. A lot of rock up here. This is supposed to be a trail on the National Park System a website, but it's kind of there, but it's not. Pretty neat out here though. Come up on a ravine here, might be something neat up here. I think this here might be Devil's Elbow. You can see the road was really constructed by the river. That's probably what they refer to as Devil's uh, Elbow. Across the river there, we're getting close to Knoxville. You can still, still see the bridge up to Harper's Ferry far away. Harper's Ferry right now is probably about three miles away. You can see up there behind that tree in the middle of the, the river. But it's a pretty neat walk. It's a long walk. I didn't expect it to be this long, but it's not too bad. Big rock out crop here. I can see why they closed the road down after 1936. The flood probably took out all the footing through the whole road. And look at pinch points like this too. There's this huge boulder here. And then the road came up behind it here. We're getting close to the mill ruins here though. So that's a good thing after walking forever. This is the same road that the uh, Union troops took to take to uh, Lovettsville, Virginia, during the Civil War. They marched up there and had a camp. I, I'm not sure which regiment it was. I think it was a New York regiment. I imagine there's a, a lot more different uh, Civil War regiments and stuff that walked up here back in the day. This is a scenic walk. So after two false alarms, I found Devil's Elbow. I think I found it now. You can see it here. 
huge big rock formation here by the river. You can see uh, remnants of the uh, old uh, retaining wall here. Come down here and look at it. <laughs> There's the old retaining wall for the road. And there is Devil's Elbow. I'm fairly certain that's it because it's the most prominent outcropping we saw the whole way along the trip here. But it's been a, a rocky hike here. It's been flat, but there's a lot of rocks to walk across. It's kind of hard on your feet, but... I'm hoping in the future to find an easier way to access this area, but we'll see. It's just neat. You can see how constructed the road would have been back in the day. See if I can find any evidence here of uh, them blasting. There might be a couple of little holes there, I'm not sure. Let's try to find something more obvious. Look how rocky this is here. This is a little bit washed out. This area here is meant for car uh, photography. There's a hole there. I don't think this is limestone now. It might be. That might be a hole there for dynamite. Water gets a little rough up here. Yeah. There's a view of it back there. Yeah, the whole road washed out. We're in the Sierra destination right now. There's Harper's Ferry up that way. I can see the church. Over there, that way, that's Knoxville, Maryland. And there's some type of, I forget the name of the cliff, there's a cliff where you can overlook the, the Potomac River. Keep going here. Someone put a bench down here. You can see right here. Yeah, remnants of the old uh, retaining wall for the road. This road was built 1832. And someone put a nice little bench there. Might take a little rest there. You can see across the way there. Try to zoom in here. That's part of the CNO Canal Trail. There's a walk across there. And uh, I think right up in this area here, we can see the kind of the difference in the water to the riffles there. That was the old uh, dam for fish. They uh, put that up. They had like a fishery or something going on here back in the 1830s. So, knowing that and then. I remember the name of that. It's a Weaverton overcrop or outcrop or something like that. It's an overlook up in the mountain. Up that valley there is Boonesboro, up toward the Antietam Battlefield. And down that way is Knoxville in Brunswick, Maryland. So, as you can see, I just have no idea. This must have been like a single lane road. Of course, back when they built it, it was probably wider, but. I can't see how two carriages are feeding it by here, let alone two cars. We haven't found anything too neat yet, but we're getting close to the ruins. We're also running out of daylight. We'll probably be walking out of here at nighttime. But we'll keep going. So this down here is part of the old mill race to the old mill. Mill was built in the 1820s. It's called Teacher's Mill. And there's a house associated with it. We'll, we'll be coming up with that pretty quick. It's pretty neat though that with all the flooding, that mill race still exists a little bit here. We're getting closer here. You can see, uh, I think we're walking in the old uh, mill race bed here. 
We can see the railway up that way. Pretty clear down here, it's not too bad walking. Lots of stone formation. We ought to be coming right up on this mill real quick. One of the pictures I saw online, there was like a wall standing still, but I'm not sure if that's the case or not. You can tell that this uh, mill race has washed out quite a bit over the years. Okay, I think we're getting to the point where we're going to find a mill. So I'll be right back here once we find it. So we found the old mill finally. You can see the old windows. The um, cultural resource study I looked at said that it uh, was two and a half stories. So there was second floor. You can see the window opening. And then you see these big openings here in the wall. That is for the uh, floor support. And it kind of looks like someone came down here and preserved it a little bit. Maybe the National Park Service. This is the front door. <coughs> There's the old red there. And then here is the old chimney. And <coughs> what I read online was that this was probably where the office was for the mill. It went down towards the river. But they built the walls almost three feet thick to withstand the floodwaters. You can see the, the uh, chimney construction there. That's pretty neat, it's all standing yet. Yeah, it's still here. Yeah, this has definitely been restored or stabilized because that's a brand new piece of metal there. It's a pretty neat uh, place here. Huh. Apparently there's a deer. There's two deer up in the woods there, watching us. <laughs> Here's the outside of the uh, wall. It's definitely been re-parged, uh, you know, the joints have been recovered, so someone's trying to stabilize it as a ruin. It is part of Nash or uh, Harper's Ferry National Park. He knows how far it came out. You can see stone the whole way out to here. I imagine it came down pretty far. Oh, with the flood water, it probably took a lot of it away. It's a pretty big rune. And somewhere about 200 feet north of here, there's a house foundation. And there's also a lime kiln. So we're gonna try to find that next. But that's pretty neat. <laughs> Here's a video from the other side. You can see the uh, structure. There's a the front door there. There's my brother-in-law. And there's a chimney for the office uh, fireplace. Still pretty well preserved here for the room. And if you look up this way here, it's the old road that went to uh, Lovettsville. I think it was called at one time the Boonesboro Pike on Civil War maps, but I'm not sure when they shut it down. And when there's two deer up here that are not phased at all that I'm here. So, I'm not sure. Maybe they can tell I don't have a rifle on me. I don't know. But this just is pretty neat. So, the guy that owned this or built it back in the 1820s, I guess, um, he had three mills during his lifetime, and one of them was on... Uh, Virginia's Island, down by Harper's Ferry. Uh, you, you can still see ruins down there too, the old pulp mill, the old water mill, all that stuff down there. And then he came up here and got, built this, and then built this road so he can take his goods out of this area. The uh, river road here that we followed the whole way up here, um, it was um, not built till later. So this predates the river road that we walked up. River Road was completed in 1832, and this road here was built like 1813 and 1820. And then there's a house foundation here too, somewhere we're gonna find next. 
So I'm here talking to two deer. They're literally about 25 feet away from me right now. And they don't care. Here's the house foundation for uh, Peter's Mill. It's pretty well intact. The cultural uh, reports that there's weird abutments that came off the one side here. It's probably like an addition or a porch or something like that. Let's walk around here. You can see the basement area. This foundation is pretty well preserved too. It's way up off the river too, so that probably helps. And it looks like someone's been balding. They have some stuff here they found. A piece of purple glass, an old mason jar. This place was uh, occupied probably into the 19th century, early 19th century. So I think all the stuff here that someone found looks to be from that date. I'm not really sure where they are digging at, but they found something here. There's also a lime, lime uh, kiln up the hill here, so we'll look at that next. I'm not sure where they found all this stuff out here. How long ago was this place abandoned? I think back in the 1910s, 1920s. The road shut down in 1936, so this place has been abandoned for at least 80 or 90 years. There's a lot of bricks in here too, probably from an old chimney. Some old bricks. Over here is kind of a weird thing. There's a little like alcove door here. That's the old basement door. There's steps there kind of yet. So the house went the way back here and only had half a dug basement. It was a pretty good sized house back then. But this too kind of looks like it might have been stabilized at some point, but who knows. So we're walking up uh, the old road here towards Lovettsville. There's a sign there for hikers. I'll crop up that way. We're looking for the lime kiln right now. Then we're gonna head out. This road here is built pre-1820. I don't know if it's called the lime kiln or not. We, we could try it out. What are we looking for? The lime kiln. It's still standing. I'm following the trail now. This is the first evidence of a trail I found. So we're hoping it goes somewhere. Hey, there's something right in front of you. Where? Right there. Oh yeah, there it is. So sure enough, when you find a trail, it usually is somewhere that we fell in the lime kiln. Here's the bottom of it here. Online it said it was built in the 1880s, 1890s. It looks a little bit older than that, but who knows. Here. Well preserved kiln. 
There's the uh, out ball there, apparently. It's in good shape. It's all dry laid. It's still sit sitting there. Good shape. Right up the valley from the house. And then right up the hill here, I can see the uh, gate for the uh, National Park Service. Right there. So, we walked like three or four miles down here to find this stuff. I'm thinking about calling my wife to ha have her come down and pick us up from the shorter end. She's like two miles away. We had to walk four miles from Harper's Ferry. Pretty neat out here. Little creek here beside the area. The whole road is eroded out from drainage issues, but there you go. That's your little trip through uh, the short hill track of Harper's Ferry National Park. We are walking back now, back to the car. We got about an hour hike. They had Tim back here holding in there for now. There he is somewhere. So hopefully this video was informative. It's kind of neat to find this stuff out in the you know, National Park. It's off the beaten trail. It's not like a main attraction here, but uh, I'll try to add more details and some more uh, history to it when I post it online and and uh, give you a little bit more background on what's going on back here. Um, until then, please subscribe and uh, like my page. And thank you for watching. Bye.